Hi, Bettina. Hello, James. How are thank you? you for, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. That's okay. Um, as usual, as you know, we, we normally start off with a quick introduction to who you are and, and who you represent. Yes, yeah, sure. So I'm Bettina. My last name is very Swiss. I'm not going to try to pronounce it in English. But I'm Bettina. I work for the Switzerland Convention and Incentive Bureau here in the UK. So I'm based in London. I'm basically your first point of contact for anything re related to Switzerland, whether that's you need a destination or a venue or you need any, any kinds of information about in, in Switzerland, get in touch with me. That's basically okay. it. <laughs> so so where, where are we in terms of Switzerland and, and the whole kind of uh, lockdown procedures or, or we, we passed lockdown now? So we're past lockdown. I think the situation in Switzerland is pretty good. The Swiss are enjoying their holidays uh, now. The summer holidays are starting. So everyone is traveling to the mountains and, and hiking and you know, hiking all across the mountains and jumping into mountain lakes like the one behind me and everyone's enjoying uh, their holidays. So we are, I think the, I would say the, the situation in Switzerland is pretty relaxed. Um, we have a mask obligatory, so it's a hard word, obligatory on public transport um, now. So, uh, so that's that, but all our, all our hospitality is back open, you know, mountain railways are open, hotels never had to close, restaurants are open. Um, yeah, we have events that are, um, generally possible for up to a thousand people but you have to make sure contact tracing doesn't exceed 300 people and also some cantons cantons are like counties in the UK have different rules so you know there's also I think we're moving forward there there as well um, there's no quarantine if you want to travel to Switzerland from the UK and also you Switzerland is on the UK's exempted list I think you call it so that means if you travel back from the Switzerland you don't need to quarantine so basically means our um, borders are back open and um, yeah so I think it's yeah pretty good yeah <laughs> so I was I was going to ask sort of what impact and what changes have been made due, due to it all but it sounds like you guys have been pretty pretty okay with it apart from uh, the masks <laughs> you're pretty much well, <laughs> <laughs> I mean I think I would say we're, we're very lucky to to be known for our cleanliness and you know to be safe and we're I think we have that reputation um, for a reason I think you've been to Switzerland you know um, it's very clean, you know, we're, it's not really, it wasn't really a big, big, big change for us, but we have um, a new uh, label that we put in place. It's called clean and safe. So basically when lockdown started and we realized we need to make sure everyone's definitely looked after and safe, our industry associations came together and they, um, they kind of drafted up some safety protocols. So everything that's open now, every hotel, every restaurant, every event venue or every cable car they have to have an approved government uh, a approved safety protocol by the government so um otherwise they're not allowed to open so we definitely make sure it's you know easy to understand and you know if anywhere you anywhere you walk in will definitely be safe but then with this label that we also introduced the clean and safe label it makes it makes it just easier for guests and planners like you to navigate this whole you know this whole safety protocol situation so um yeah, we're trying our best. I mean, in general, we have 1.5 meters distance. As I said before, masks are obligatory in public transport. Um, yeah, I mean, there's definitely things in place to make everyone safe. But in general, we're quite lucky to already be known for, for that before. So, so it's probably more of a case of, particularly from a planning perspective for events, sort of making sure, like you said, the different sort of rules within the counties as such, just making sure that where you're going to go is, uh, it, you, you know, the actual sort of laws there at the time. Exactly. And for that, we're definitely um, always there to help. You know, if you're not really sure where to look it up or in which canton your place, you know, if the, the location of your event is and what kind of rules there are, there's, we're always happy to help. You just get in touch with me and I can find out for you. We really try to help everyone case by case. So it's, you know, just make your life as easy as possible. And you know how we work. We're, everything you ask us is always, we give everything free of charge. You know, if you just need a, just a question, let me know. I mean, there's no charge or anything. So just have, just here to help you, basically. Yeah. OK. So, again, it's, it seems a little bit <laughs> redundant as a question, but, but sort of <laughs> in, ter in terms of events, um, sort of what kind of events can we put on and what sort of group size? It sounds to me that there's, again, not really much that's, that's actually, which is great news, not really much that's off the table, really. Um, yeah. So, as I said before, generally, um, events of up to a thousand people are possible. As long as and that's quite an important point. As long as contact tracing doesn't exceed 300 people, so you need to make sure you have that under control. Um, 
Yeah, but then again, like the, the can cantons are the ones that will tell you in your specific case whether that's possible or not. But in Switzerland, especially, I think we have such an amazing nature. I think outdoor events are definitely one thing to have a look at in Switzerland. We have beautiful, you know, lakes. Uh, we have you can have like events on on boats, on trains, all that thing. So that's definitely a, quite a cool thing to look at. In terms of numbers, yeah, as I said, generally up to a thousand, but depends on the canton. Yeah. Okay. And that's, that's, that's the great thing I, I found sort of being out there in Switzerland and, and things like that is the, the variety that you can do um, in terms of events exactly. and, in, and incentives. Because um, you're literally right in the, the middle of some amazing sort of scenery, whether it be the mountains or the lakes or the forests. So, yeah, it gives some really great opportunities for people, particularly those that are looking sort of health and wellness as, as well as sustainability. It's, it's a great location to go. Exactly. I think in Switzerland, we are, yeah, we are really lucky and I'm really grateful to be able to represent a country like what you said it's very we're very varied it's a small country you know you're you're easily from the city in the in the countryside or in the mountains so even our cities are quite small but see compared to london i mean moving from a place with a thousand five hundred inhabitants to london i mean our biggest city is it cannot even compare zurich zurich is our biggest city to london so it's it's very, very different. I think if you've never been, I think it's hard to imagine what it's like. I think, yeah, definitely well-being is a big part. We have a big point. We have a big, um, a really good uh, quality of life in Switzerland. I think you'll notice that as soon as you you get there. So, yeah, I think I agree with you, yeah. I think I think it's also an important, important point that we, we tend to find, particularly with clients, same with some of the Scandinavian destinations that you don't sort of focus on it being snow and mountains and ski and as great as it is for that like I say in the summertime it's a completely different environment that opens up so many more opportunities exactly yeah I think a lot of people only think about Switzerland um think of Switzerland in the winter like you know skiing or yeah, mountains and snow but uh yeah you were in Switzerland in October and it was well, there wasn't the best weather, to be honest, but I think we could still see like the beautiful, <laughs> beautiful like Lavo region, you know, the, the wine region we have, that's UNESCO World Heritage. And you can see like the lakes and then the mountains. And in, in summer, it's I, I personally think mountain in summer is like the best thing you can you can see. I mean, for me, mountains in summer is completely different world. I would always go to the mountains in summer if I could choose. <laughs> sure. Yeah. And just to, and just to keep our ski friends happy because we do do a few ski incentives and whatever so I, i'm guessing apart from the maybe changing up your apres ski uh plans it is pretty much business as usual hopefully sort of moving forward into the ski season later on hopefully yeah um i mean it's hard to say you know everything is quite you know fluid everything can change so it's hard to kind of point pin down like what it's going to be like but we are we're confident that we can we can definitely handle um the ski season we've proven that the last few months so we can we can definitely handle that let's just hope the situation stays like that and it's as positive as it is now and then uh, yeah hopefully ski seasons are back to normal new normal yeah let's see <laughs> new normal yeah, <laughs> new normal. yeah. <laughs> yeah. okay and, and is there is there anything else sort of you'd like to put across or we need we need to know sort of if we're coming out to switzerland um I mean, I say again, like you've been to Switzerland, I wanted to see it, say again, you know, it's a very small country. It's easy to get around, you know, it's a very varied country. So um, the, the flight time from the UK is only an hour and 10 to an hour and 20 minutes. So it's easy to get there. It's easy to get around. You can charter a train, you can charter a train carriage, you can char charter a boat. And now we all you can also rent a, a completely uh, rent out a hotel for your group. So the term exclusivity is definitely a big point. So um, there's really nothing in the way of, you know, having a completely exclusive event, like literally from the time you get, or from the yeah, time you get to the airport, then renting out a complete train to get you to your destination, renting out a hotel. So you can completely be exclusive and all alone. Uh, yeah, I think it's just to keep in mind. Yeah, good, good thing to keep in mind that you don't have to worry about uh, other people mingling with your group if you don't feel comfortable um, with that. Uh, yeah, and then just enjoy the nature. I think we are really lucky to have such amazing, very countryside and, and mountains, and our cities are very beautiful as well. I think that's just a good thing to keep in mind if you've never been. Yeah, I think that's an important point as well. Is is, is remembering the short flight time, uh, particularly yeah. sort of moving forward where where there is sort of uncertainty with flights or there's maybe not as much confidence to fly too far, you know, only an hour and 20 minutes is, is, exactly. is nothing really. So um, particularly to get out to, to that kind of location would be, would be great. So 
Yes, yeah. No, I agree. I mean, I'm going home to Switzerland in two weeks and I cannot wait. And it's really a quick journey. Um, it actually takes much longer from here where I am to Heathrow Airport and the flight. And I always find that in incredible because once you're at the airport, literally you're in Switzerland like that. And once you're at the airport in Switzerland, you're just out in the countryside and in nature literally like that. So it's always, it's always quite funny for me, the journey from here to the airport and so tedious and long. And then once you get there, it's always, you're always on holiday already. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for joining me. It was really, really good talking to you and finding out everything we need to know sort of about Switzerland. And again, just a really good positive story about how the country itself reacted and, and, and sort of moving forward, which is great. Thank you, James, for having me. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. <laughs> no problem. I'll speak to you soon. Thank you for watching. We welcome any feedback and questions in the comment section below and please make sure you follow me on all our social networks.